this is the best we got. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to your favorite girl on the internet. That's me. If you're new here, my name is Jasmine Rosette and I'm starting a new series. But before we get into the series, I would ask that you would give this video a thumbs up if you like any part of this video. Comment down below, say hi, I say hi back, and subscribe so you can keep up to date with your favorite girl on the internet. And without any further ado, let's get into this new vlog series. So basically, the whole monthly, like the monthly weight loss recaps were just not working for me. And especially during this time, and I feel like a weekly vlog of showing you like my workouts, what I'm eating, is just going to be a lot easier for me. <laughs> So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to document in a week blog type of situation. At the end of each week, I will share my weight. But yeah, today is September 1st. So we're starting off today hot. <laughs> Not really that hot. Yesterday was like a full body workout day. Um, today is more focused on like stretching and abs as well um, but yeah and then I'll show you everything that I'm eating like every single thing that I'm eating including the snacks if I buy ice cream if I buy cookies like all of that you guys will be in the know of like when my weight kind of fluctuates and stuff like that so I'm hoping that this weekly vlog format going forward documenting my weight loss journey will just be a lot easier um, and I feel like you guys keep me accountable like when I share more of my weight loss journey I feel like I'm held to the standard of like you cannot continue gaining weight like you have to lose the weight so that is why I'm switching to a weekly format. Hope you guys like it. Hope that's okay. But that also means like weekly videos. Like you guys will see me a lot more um, on YouTube. And I will also probably post a couple times a week. Like twice here and there. Because I do have some vlogs backlogged. And that also means that if I have an idea going forward. If I want to do a get ready with me. Or you know do like outfits and stuff like that which I do want to get into like fashion stuff because I want this to be like lifestyle like I, I want to cover a bunch of other different topics I don't want to just be pigeonholed to one thing so yeah that is um you'll definitely see more videos but this definitely kind of guarantees that like you will get a week like at least a video per week and it's a lot easier for me to edit because then it's not like this huge vi I mean they might still be long because sometimes I get long-winded girl we all know that I get a little bit long-winded but I feel like it'll just be a lot easier um, to have it all done in like a week instead of trying to get like a month worth of footage and then you know doing it one time like I can edit a little bit every day so that is the plan, that is the hope, that is the goal. But yeah, I let us get into this yoga flow workout stretch thing today. <laughs> I'm gonna get you, baby. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you, baby. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you, baby. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you, baby. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you, baby. I'm g
Hello! So I'm gonna make some breakfast. I'm gonna make some avocado on toast and have it with some celery juice. So I'm just gonna make that for breakfast now. And that is my breakfast, avocado on toast with egg, goat cheese, and green juice. Want to see the full tour of this um, little closet turned into office area? Definitely check out the video in my description of my room tour. But there are some items that I didn't really get to shout out in that video. One being this laptop stand for me. So yeah, this is what I'm having for lunch. Also, I think I'm going to do my weigh-in on Friday because it is Labor Day weekend and I'm going out of town and I won't have my scale with me to weigh myself on Saturday. So I'm just gonna weigh myself on Friday morning. And how these are gonna go are that I'm gonna do them Monday through Saturday. So Sundays, you're not gonna see anything in terms of like a date or an update. Like Sundays are when I'm gonna hopefully be editing the vlog. And that is the lunch for today, as you can see. So it's a lot later, it is 5.10, you can kind of see that. That is the time I'm making my dinner, which you can see here.
Jamie Genevieve is part of that product. It kind of you know, takes it, sucks it up, and then disperses it nicely. Whereas with a brush or your fingers, it's just harder to remove the excess product once you've already put it on the face, you know? Whereas with this one, it just very nicely pushes it around. I'm curious to know your guys' So earlier I had a meeting and because everything was really last minute and I had to go to Target to get some things right before my meeting and the meeting was extremely self like stressful, I had another pint of ice cream. I've been emotionally eating this week because it has just been slightly stressful, but <laughs> these are my decisions. So. I'm also having pomegranate and cherry juice with my Miralax mixed in and then I am cooking chicken with stir fried vegetables which I'll show you guys in a minute. But yeah, that pint of ice cream was basically my lunch. Not proud of it, but you know, tomorrow we'll do better. Tomorrow we'll do better. That is my dinner today.
Today has been stressful. This entire week has been stressful, which is why I had... Okay, this thing just decided to come off. Um, which is why... Oh, it's so oily. I hate that. Which is why I've had all the ice cream. Which, honestly, I just need to, like, not buy pints of ice cream because I... 
I'm still learning self-control and it is just better if I go to an ice cream shop and get ice cream instead of buying pints of ice cream and bringing them home because I just don't have the control to just be like, well, I'm only going to have a little bit right now and not eat the whole thing. So that is where I'm currently at. Yeah. Grandma, say hi to the to the vlog. Oh, hi vlog. <laughs> bicycle. What? I'm on my bicycle at home. Oh, you're on the bicycle at home. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Get it in, girl. I can't do the walking out there. It's too hot. Yeah. So, so get on my bicycle and get something going. Well, you'll see this soon. <laughs> I'm not sure of what I see, Cupid, don't f with me. Are you telling me this is a sign? She's looking in my eyes, and I don't see no other guys. Are you telling me this is a sign? Looking in my eyes, and I don't 
because we're leaving today um, to go to the springs and do like a staycation I just weighed myself and I weigh 212 even honestly that makes sense from 211 how I ended last month because I had four pints of ice cream but that brings me to my one point so I basically did intermittent fasting this entire week and which means I, I ate for about eight, eight and a half hours, but after that, like, had nothing in between until the next day. I also worked out every day, um, and I increased the amount of times that I worked out, but they weren't workouts where I was, like, completely, completely dying. I just wanted to watch my heart rate, because I don't, like, I don't feel comfortable when my heart rate's just, like, when I can really feel it in my ears, I'm just like, oh my gosh, I feel like my heart is going to jump out of my chest, and I just need to be careful. So, I don't, like, I, w I wasn't pushing myself in the workouts, but I did work out more than I have before. And I ate healthy for my main meals, they were all really healthy, yet I had four pints of ice cream and only gained one pound. And each ice cream pound pint was about a thousand plus calories and each meal that I was eating was about two to three hundred sometimes four hundred calories so it's basically two to four hundred calories per meal so with that in mind 
I was like, I only gained one pound while also working out every day this week and eating healthy for my main meals and just having a pint of ice cream pretty much every day this week. So I feel like that's good. This morning I am treating myself to a matcha latte. I bought some tools. I'm like saying things like Melanie now. I bought this little kit off Amazon because it was a lot cheaper than going to like stores and stuff like that. I would have normally gotten this at World Market but I didn't, I didn't want to spend all that money on that where I could get like all three of these items. Will it focus? I could get basically all three of these items for like, I believe it was 15 bucks. Whereas usually just this little whisker is about $15. So you basically, you get your matcha, put it in here first, sift it through to get rid of all the clumps. And then you, you know, have your hot water, pour your hot water over, and then you, and it's a lot more manual because I have a matcha, it's basically, it's like one of these, you just turn it on, but it's like battery operated, and I'm like, you know, might as well try to conserve the battery a little bit and use a manual one, so I'm treating that to my treating myself to a matcha latte this morning and we'll show you the finished results once everything is done. 